Hey guys, Steve here. Today is uh, Thursday, January 7th, 2015. Happy New Year to everyone. Uh, this is, I guess, my first uh, video of 2016. I hope you guys had a fun and safe uh, New Year's and holiday season. Time to get into 2016 and see what uh, you know what we, we what we'd look forward to uh, from collecting Hot Wheels to Matchbox, etc. Um, so before I start, um, what does what does 2016 look like? Well, um, hopefully a lot of new stuff and um, you know big changes, particularly in the green light, Auto World, Johnny Lightning M2. Um, for those who don't already know, those are are going to start um, appearing in targets um, right now. M2s are showing up in targets today. Uh, this we, uh, last couple weeks starting uh, like the third of the month. Um, unfortunately with the M2s right now, they're only exclusive to specific targets. Um, I'll, sh I'll share some more information on that a little bit later. Um, also, um, targets are going to be carrying uh, Johnny Lightning. Uh, Johnny Lightning, uh, I'm, not, I'm not familiar a lot with Johnny Lightning, um, so you know, bear with me. I'm not an expert on them. Um, I haven't been connect collecting that long to know about them, um, other than what's chased and what isn't. But Johnny Lightning, um, you know, they, uh, uh, you know, from my understanding, I guess they went out of business for a little bit or disappeared for about what six to 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 twelve months or longer, um, and now they're back. I think they merged with um, either M2 or Greenlight or, or something like that. So, but they're back and they're actually going to be carried at Target as well. Um, I'm not sure if the Giant Lightning are going to be carried exclusively to certain targets or not, or if they're all targets. Um, and then um, finally, the uh, which was a big surprise that I just found out this week, only because they were doing self resets at Target, is that they're also going to be carrying Auto Worlds. Um, Auto Worlds, uh, of course, is the, uh, the one of the other competing lines, diecast lines of 164. Um, so they're going to be uh, carried at Target, and they actually have the the um, the tags already up at the one specific uh, target that I visit. Um, and finally, green lights. Going back to green light real quick. Uh, there was an announcement on Facebook. I, I can't remember. I'm, I'm just kind of thinking of thinking of what what I saw briefly. But um, there was a post. I believe it was from green, green light. Um, and the post was kind of vague, but it said something to the, something to the effect that um, green um, green light is going to be carried in a in a well known. Uh, retail establishment that has a bullseye as you know its trademark, so that um, one would seem to think that it is Target. Um, I have not seen tags for tar for Greenlight yet. Um, I think if we do see them, there they probably will uh, start appearing maybe at the end of the month, maybe in February. Um, I think we're still waiting for an official word um, that they will appear. So I'm hoping because uh, right now the right now the only Places in my area that carry green light are Toys R Us and Hobby Lobby. Um, they used to appear in Walmart, but they, in at least my area, um, which has about five or six Walmarts, um, they stopped carrying them. So, okay. All right, so let's get started. Uh, I have a, lot of, a few pieces to share with you. Um, we'll start with this piece here. Uh, this, of course, is the highly anticipated, finally, it's here, um, Redline Club 67 Golf Camaro. Um, this is a very nice piece. Uh, these are limited to uh, 4,500 pieces. Um, the two that I have are numbers 1, uh, 1,263 and 64. Now, let me take one out to show you here. Very nice piece. It goes along the lines, of course, with the, 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 the Golf um, Deco and the other pieces that have come out, such as the, the Porsche, the... Uh, the drag bus, etc., um, the, the drag beetle, and the, the Ford GT. Um, so here it is, very nice piece. Um, so here's the deal right now. Um, there's a known issue. It appears to be a actually a paint issue, um, but it only appears right now for cars that are numbered um, somewhere in the neighborhood of 3,000 and up. Um, anything lower than that, you're going to get a pretty decent um, quality car. However, um, it appears that uh, several pieces, uh, particularly in my in my uh, 
local local club um, that anything higher than three number three thousand or higher, uh, particularly in the four thousands even, um, there's some serious chipping issues. Chipping, bad paint. Um, there are rubbing issues. I heard one post. I saw one post on our uh, Redline Club um, forums that the blister is so the blister is so tight around the car that it actually rubbed the roof. One guy said it rubbed the roof down to the bare metal. So um, right now um, we're trying to get enough people to voice their concerns and 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 um, their anger um, that the quality you know for the amount that was paid for these cars. Uh, that the quality is really bad. There's there, and and right now, people that have called into customer service, all they're really saying is, "Well, just return it for your refund," and that's it. Um, but we're finally, I think, I think we're finally opening up their eyes at Mattel that hey, there is a quality issue, serious quality issue, um, and we're trying to get them to you know take care of the situation. But luckily, um, like I said, my numbers are in the 1,000, 1,200 range. So I look pretty close at them, and they're actually in pretty decent shape. So uh, I'm not going to open one of them today. I will open, have one open one next video uh, simply because, um, because I opened one. Uh, a fellow collector has a good car, but the blisters either cracked or whatever. So I'm going to trade him a good card so that I can open, um, uh, you know, take his bad card and open that one. Okay. But very nice piece, nonetheless. And so we'll see what happens and see what um, you know customer service says or what they're gonna what they plan to do. Um, the other only thing I wanted to point out with these two cars is they have a different base code. Um, one is the this one says H30 and the other one I have is H29. I don't know what that means. Probably doesn't mean anything really. But I just thought I'd point it out because I know some people, some variation freaks out there like to point out the little things. Okay. So, um, today um, I also found um, at Target um, another, they, it's really weird, weird because Targets have not carried, in this area, Targets have not carried pop culture uh, pieces for, I don't think I've ever found pop culture pieces at Target, to be honest with you. But uh, it's kind of odd, so I, I found uh, a, a case of pop culture Nestle's um, cars at um, Target today, and I picked up this particular one, the Nestle Crunch Convoy Custom. Very nice piece. I think I shared with you in the last video the loose one. Okay, and then so we're, since we're staying with Target here, um, let's talk about the M2 exclusive pieces. Um, so a little bit of story about the M2 pieces. Um, there are, like I said, the M2 pieces are specific to only certain targets. Um, one of them, of the targets, is about probably 20 minutes from me um, with a lot of collectors. So um, I was lucky enough to uh, find a few pieces at Target yesterday, two days ago, um, along with two other collectors there, and I got a couple pieces. So I got this one here. Um, they are Target exclusive, so as you see, actually printed on only at Target. Um, and this is the 63 Ford Econoline Custom. Uh, I particularly like this one, not only the casting, but the, I think the color was pretty cool and the deco was really pretty cool. Okay. Alright. And then the other piece, which um, I actually picked up for a fellow collector of mine. Um, this is the 60 VW Delivery Van USA model. It's got the transporter deco on the side there. Okay. The Target logo again. So that one is for Dave. And then um, and then the Auto Driver series they have uh, picked up this particular piece. Um, this is the 66 Shelby GT350. This is um, actually if you can find um, this series. This is one of the chases that comes. The ch this is a chase model. This isn't the chase model, but the the chase model is of this particular um, piece with red tires. Um, unfortunately, the two cases that um, we did find at this Target did not have any chases, um, which is surprising because everyone on Facebook is posting um, a ton of chases that they found at Target specifically. But either way, it's a pretty cool piece. Like the gold wheels. 
Check my light here. Okay. And then the only other piece I got is this other piece here. This is the only one I was interested other other than one I was interested in. This is the 71 Plymouth Hemicuda. I like the color on that one. And like the box pieces, um, let me show you here. Um, it also says only at Target, so it's printed up here as the Target exclusive as well at the top of the card. Okay. So, um, these are the M2 pieces that I found, and hopefully, um, you know, they'll start stocking some more. Stocking some more. So, hopefully, we'll see if I can uh, pick up some more and share with you guys. Okay. All right. All right, um, next thing I want to share with you is, I'll uh, show this piece. This is actually a piece I found, I found actually at the grocery store. It's a car's piece. I thought it was kind of cool. It's a deluxe piece. I haven't seen it before. It's called, uh, yeah, I thought at first it was a, um, um, uh, either a chase or a super chase, but it's just one that's um, very different. And then um, I actually saw another one today, I think at Toys R Us. Um, this is a... Part of the Cruisin' Tokyo line is, of course, the Disney Pixar Mattel, excuse me, Mattel Disney Pixar pieces. This is, uh, if I can pronounce this right, Teya de, de Cotura. Um, that's kind of a unique piece. Okay. I have to go back and look at, watch a couple of the movies to see. Obviously, this, um, this has to be from the second movie, uh, but I have to go back and see, uh, you know, which scene um, this particular character is from. Uh, maybe this part right here will give it away. It must have been a quick um, quick scene. So, I'll have to check it out. But I thought that was a pretty cool piece. Alright. Alright. Um, these two pieces I got um, through a uh, fellow collector, Ken. He was able to pick them up for me. I think it was a business trip. Um, this is the Tomy Pocket Cars. And right here we have the Lancia Stratus. I think it's a very cool piece. I used to have one of these, like a 124th scale remote control car of this particular piece. But uh, you don't see many of these. So, I really like uh, the looks of this one. And another one is, of course, the uh, Countach. Looks like the engine uh, cover opens up. Okay. Wheels are kind of sort of okay. They're really thin. But uh, you know, something different. Okay. All right. Um, the last thing I want to share with you today is I just received, um, I purchased a, placed another order with 3,000 toys, and I got the latest uh, Siri, Greenlight Black Bandit Series 13. So I'm going to share these with you. I'll try to open these up real quick. So the first piece here is the uh, 72 Chevy C10 with the camper shell. Open this one up. Um, I was hoping it was a factory uh, set, factory, excuse me, factory case with a s one set of six cars. Um, I was hoping for a green machine, but unfortunately no green machine. But still, nevertheless, uh, um, open one up, and so I have a loose set. Okay, so very nice piece. It'll go in my black bandit case on my wall. Uh, we don't need that. Okay. Um, and this is numbered, let's see if I had 2,405. Uh, the next one is, I'll do that one last, because that's probably a popular one. Next one here is a 90, uh, excuse me, 84 Chevy Monte Carlo SS. Okay. These bolsters are getting harder and harder open. Okay, I don't think... Oh, it does have an opening hood, so here it is. And then it does have an opening hood. So I'll 
show that right here. Okay. Okay. All right, the next one we have is okay, down trash. Next one we have is the 73 Volkswagen Type 2 Westphalia Camp Campomobile. Um, the camper here is They've been doing their numbers really weird. I can't read the number on this one. I think it's 1,280, maybe. So, there it is. Um, just so you know, somebody asked, does the top fold down? It does not. It's pretty stationary. So. Okay. So, there's the Black Bandit. There. Okay. Um, the next one is the 2015 Chevy Silverado 1500. Uh, seems like Greenlight has been really using this particular casting a lot for everything. So hopefully we'll see some something a little bit newer casting wise this year. Um, this is numbered 4,619. So there's, there's what it looks like. It's pretty big. Okay. All right. Okay. The next one is the 63 Dodge D100. Okay. Nice piece. This was numbered 3,701. So nice truck. Got both uh, gloss and matte black finish. Okay. And finally, we have the 2015 Nissan GTR R35. Very popular. It'd be really nice to find a green machine of this. I just wish the uh, green light made the black banded green machines all green versus just green wheels. Um, but yeah, this is a really nice piece. This is numbered uh, 194. Close up there. Fingerprints all over it. Close up there. There you go. Alright. Okay. Well, there you have it, guys. Uh, that is the Series 13 Black Bandits. Um, they actually have, 3000 Toys actually has um, a picture of the next series. I think it's the Series 14, 14 or 15. I think it's 14 uh, of the Black Bandits as well. So um, some more interesting pieces. Um, some different castings, at least. So it'll be nice to see those as well. Um, but uh, that's it. Uh, that's all I have to share with you today. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I will be doing hopefully a video this weekend as we have our monthly club meet on Saturday. And so hopefully I'll be able to share with you um, some of my findings. I, I will tell you that um, you'll probably see quite a few green machines, um, um, different ones as well. So I look forward to showing that. Um, oh, speaking of green machine, sorry, one more piece. Um, actually, I found this today, uh, Toys R Us. Um, this is, of course, the Motor World uh, American Edition Series 11. 
This is the 2013 Ford Escape DSNY, and this, of course, is a green machine. And as I mentioned before, uh, the Motor World uh, line is kind of the baseline for green light. Uh, so they're 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 probably the cheapest and uh, cheapest as far as cost is concerned. Um, but the other difference uh, with the with the baseline of the Motor World series is they don't number these. Um, uh, even in with the um, five pack uh, Motor World uh, sets. So, uh, but this is the green machine. Unfortunately, the card is bent and pretty bad in two places. But nevertheless, it's a green machine. So I was happy to find it. Okay, and I want to. And uh, I want to thank a buddy of mine who actually found that and um, saved it for me um, at the store. So, all right. Well, that's all I have now. Um, again, uh, hopefully I'll be able to share some more stuff with you this weekend. And until then, happy hunting. Happy um, 2016. Good luck to you guys in, in your hunting and trading and all that good stuff. And we'll talk to you later. Have a good one.